Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, we'll learn to make a simple M12 nut and bolt. So, we'll use the dimensions as accurately as possible and it is really very easy to make these kind of bolts with physical threads and also with cosmetic kind of thread uh, which is just a representation of thread. So, we'll learn about both the methods and let's get started. So we'll start with the model workspace and here in Fusion 360, uh, we are right now in model workspace as you can see here. If not, you can switch to model workspace. And as always, we'll first start with the sketch. So I'll go to sketch, I'll select create sketch and I'll start from a plane. Uh, most preferably, I'll start with this plane. All right, now I'll type C for circle and from this origin, I'm going to make the first circle and the diameter for this circle should be 12 unit in this case 12 millimeter because we are making M12 nut and bolt. So the diameter should be 12 for that. All right, there it is. Let's stop sketch. All right, and I'll go to extrude. I'll orbit this drawing a little bit. I'm going to select this one and now I'll extrude this up to a height of 76 and enter let's zoom out a little and there we have it okay now let's make the cap here and to do that i'm gonna go to sketch again and i'll select this plane on the top now i'll go to sketch and polygon and in this case let's select circumscribed polygon and i'll click here again on the origin and I'll make it with the diameter of 20 unit. So 20 and enter. Well, now that's a radius of 20. So I'm going to double click here and I'll make it 10. That's it. That's more like it. Okay, so now we have the polygon. Let's constrain it. It's not yet fully constrained. So I'm going to select this vertex and this one. And I'll go to this constraint option and I'm going to make it vertical. Now this is fully constrained. Let's stop sketch. Now I'll go to the same plane again and the same one here and I'll make another sketch on this. So I'll go to circle now. So we can simply type C for circle and the same center and this vertex right there. So the circle is also added. Once again, let's click stop sketch. Now we have two different sketches and we'll use them uh, for making the cap. So I'll go to extrude and I'll extrude the circle, just the circle. And I'll add a height of 7.6 unit. Okay. And press enter. Now we can add a fillet here. So I'll go to modify fillet, this vertex and the fillet is 2 mm. All right. And enter again. Once again, let's go to extrude and this time select this polygon so carefully make a selection here for the polygon and again extrude it and this time again add the height of 7.6 so 7.6 now here you need to make a different kind of selection here in the operation right now you can see that it is cutting the geometry which we don't want we want a completely new body here so just go to this new body and create a new one here and click on OK. All right. So we have a completely new body, which is a polygon. But now let's inspect the bodies which we have. We just have two bodies. One of the body is this complete body that includes the cap, the circular cap, as well as this cylindrical part, as well as the body too, which is just the polygon. So we need to make sure that this cylindrical cap is separate from this body. And for that, I'll go to modify and I'll select split body that will split this complete body in two parts. So I'll select this body that we need to split and we need to split using this plane. So I'll select this splitting tool and I'm going to click on this plane right there. So there we have it, the plane that will split the body in two and click on OK. So now we have three bodies, this, this and this. So we have this polygon, this cap circular cap, polygon, 
cap and the rest of the body and now we can make boolean operations here so i'll go to modify combine and well select both the bodies so i'll select this from browser so body one body two these are just the two bodies the polygon as well as the cylindrical one in the operation select intersect we just want to keep the common part from both the bodies click on ok and that's it that's what we actually wanted here all right the cap is also added let's add the threads and it's also kind of very easy to add the threads you need to go to create and thread and since you have already made this thing with the diameter of 12 unit fusion is smart enough to pick the proper kind of thread for this there it is so it will automatically select m12 thread and the kind of coarse thread in this case 1.75 is the pitch value which it has selected but you can change that so let's make some modifications and make some adjustments here so the first thing is the length of thread which is kind of full length we don't want that so i'm going to just uncheck this and now you can specify the length up to which you want this thread so the length that we want for this case is 36 unit and tab so up to 36 unit we want this thread now this is isometric profile size is 12 mm and this is m12 1.75 pitch value for the thread let's just make it a little bit finer kind of thread so 1.5 maybe so m12 1.5 Okay, that's the thread we, which we want. Now, in this case, the thread is a cosmetic thread. So, if you just rotate this one, look at this. The circle is completely fine. It's smooth. The thread will not be actually made. It will just add a decal or just an image here that will look like a thread. But it's not an actual feature. If you want to model this feature right into this geometry, right into this 3D body, then you need to select this modeled checkbox. Click on it and now it will actually make the thread here like this. Well, in this case, that's what we want, but this consumes more resources. It's kind of resource intensive. That's why Fusion has this extra option. So if you don't want the actual thread modeled into this body, you can keep this thing unchecked. But in this case, we do want it. So I'll keep this one checked and OK and the thread is added here and that's our bolt now in a similar way you can add the nut as well so to do that once again i'm gonna start with a plane and let's make a plane uh, somewhere here on this thread so i'll go to construct offset plane and we'll select this plane the bottom one and let's make a plane which is at this height approximately at this height maybe let's type the value 20 all right and enter now we'll make our nut on this plane so i'm going to go to sketch this plane and we'll start making it here so again go to c for circle this origin and well 12 as the diameter because again we are making the nut of the same value we are making m12 nut in this case again so it's 12 diameter now let's type c again for another circle and this time i'll make the circle with diameter of 20 unit all right now let's stop the sketch so we now have two concentric circles which are kind of not very visible because of this one so let's hide this complete body both of these bodies actually so i'll hide both of them okay there it is and now we have the concentric circles visible let's extrude it so i'll go to extrude and this is the area which you want to extrude and for height let's type 10 all right and press enter so there it is now let's make the plane visible again so go to construction and activate the plane that's the plane select and sketch so here we need to make another polygon so i'll go to this sketch polygon and in this case select inscribe polygon so i'll select the center and now you can see that we have radius value here so we need to add the radius so let's type 10 as the radius and press enter that's it that's our polygon all right so before extruding the polygon we'll just 
add the fillets to the existing drawing here and to do that we need to stop the sketch again so stop sketch we have the polygon here but before doing that let's add the fillets so i'll go to modify fillet we'll add two fillets here here as well as on this edge the radius should be two again in this case so two and tab key that looks good and okay okay again extrude and this polygon and the same height that is 10 and press tab key so there it is and in this case also you can either make a new body or you can make an intersection right inside this so just go to this operation and select intersect and now it will make this intersection in which only the common part of both the bodies will be retained so click on ok and here it is now let's activate the remaining bodies so there it is so that's the complete body here is the nut and the bolt but we still have three different parts here and actually two bodies so these two needs to be combined together and to do that again i'll go to modify combine i'll select this body and this one and we need to join them so select join and okay all right now we just have two bodies this one let's rename this and let's call it bolt and let's call this one nut now let's do a section analysis and let's see how these threads behave here and how they look so for that i'll go to inspect and section analysis and we need to select the face which is not visible so i'll go to origin i'll turn on this light bulb icon click on this plane and we have the section analysis let's click on ok and now we can clearly see the section view here let's look at the thread here okay that looks kind of okay here we have it properly inside now we need to add the thread right inside this as well so we have the thread here but not inside this so let's do that quickly so i'll deactivate this analysis light bulb here so that we have both the things and now let's hide bolt and we have the nut here where we need to add the thread so i'll go to create and thread click inside here and again use the same parameters so 1.5 m12 1.5 and it should be modeled and click on ok and it's added okay let's activate this and also activate the analysis once again all right that is okay the thread is added but they are kind of meshing which we should not i mean which should not happen in any case so let's just move this drawing a little bit you can do that using assembly tools as well but in this case we'll just move the nut here so i'll select the nut and i'm going to type m for move so now we have this move tool select this arrow let's move it up or maybe even downwards if you want so that they are properly interlinked like this click on ok and that looks kind of way better than what it was previously okay and that's the final shape which we want to keep here so now i'll once again deactivate analysis and there it is so here is our final nut and bolt m12 nut and bolt in fusion 360. so i hope you like this video if you have any question related to this don't forget to let me know in the comments below and don't forget to share it as well. I hope to see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching.